Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another video. This is going to be a care package video and the bubble mailer that you see in front of you there showed up unexpectedly in my mailbox a few days ago. And it's from a longtime hobby friend of mine who goes by Joe Schlobotnik and he runs a pretty excellent uh, sports card blog over at the Schlobotnik Report. Uh, I will leave a link below in the description of the video in case uh, that's something that you'd be interested in visiting. Uh, he does a really great job, pretty varied collection, makes his own custom cards. And uh, like I said, long time hobby friend of mine. I think we've known each other more than a decade now and have uh, sent cards back and forth to each other many times. Um, was not aware this was coming, so don't entirely know what to expect in here, but we'll go ahead and slice this open and kind of just review what awaits inside. So it looks like we have a pretty hefty dose of cards here. Uh, blue painter's tape, I love to see that. And that should make this a little bit easier to dismantle some of this. So the first little bag here looks like we have some uh, undersized or mini cards. Uh, Joe knows that I am a Red Sox collector and a Whalers collector at heart, um, but also that my interests go beyond those two teams, so it'll be interesting to see what's inside here. So we have some of these mini leader cards. This looks like the 87 edition, obviously. Clemens, Boggs, Hurst, and Jim Rice. Uh, I have quite a few of these from earlier in the decade. I think I have the 86 set complete, but I don't have any of these 87s, so that's awesome. And ditto for these 89s. We have uh, Clemens, Hurst, Greenwell, Evans, Wade Boggs. And then these, I'm guessing, might be 88s. Yeah, these look like 88 liters. Evans, Boggs, and Clemens. So you really see the same uh, players sort of repeated a lot throughout the decade on these mini leaders cards. And then from the 1990 set, uh, we have Boggs and Clemens again, as well as Nick Asaski and Jody Reed, a couple of guys we didn't see earlier. Uh, really like these last four because I've talked about this on the blog a few, I mean, I'm sorry, on the channel a few times, uh, but 1990 Tops is the first set that I ever collected, so I kind of have a soft spot in my collecting heart, so to speak, uh, for anything 90 Tops, and these, of course, are uh, somewhat related, having come out in the same year and borrowing some of the sort of comic book element in the design. And then lastly, we have this Carney Lansford uh, 1982 Superstar. This is from my birth year, so that's kind of cool. And of course, if you've seen these before, they have sort of like a credit card type feel to them, uh, rounded corners and kind of thicker plastic stock on these. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't think I own any of these uh, in my collection, so that's kind of a cool addition there. Thank you, Joe. And then let's take a look at the two full-size packets here and see what is included. So I have a note here. It says, uh, hey Shane, some soccer cards for you, plus some other goodies that I think were not listed on your TCDB lists from Joe. So I've done a pretty good job of getting my collection loaded onto the trading card database, so it does help uh, folks like Joe when they're sending a package to uh, at least increase the odds that they are sending me something that I don't already have, which is cool. We have uh, two packets to work through here in the package. And sorry, it's a little bit difficult to get these worked out here. All right, so here is the first grouping. And uh, awesome card to get us started. So Joe is aware, although I don't think I've talked about it on the channel before, that I am a huge Monty Python fan. Uh, I love all the movies, the Flying Circus Show, you name it. I've seen it. Uh, the Holy Grail is my favorite, but uh, I like it all. And this is a really cool um, card. I, I wasn't aware of these. Um, I think this is part of a trading set that was going to be produced in 1994 for Monty Python. I don't know if it actually was ever re uh, produced or not, but a uh, really cool card there, and I appreciate that as a throw-in. That's that's awesome. I will certainly keep that in my collection of oddballs. 
And then we have a nice Nolan Ryan here that I didn't have. So a uh, huge Nolan Ryan collector, and I haven't really talked about it on the channel yet, but I'll have some future videos coming featuring the Texas Express. Here's a nice Stadium Club issue and a Flea, I'm sorry, Donruss Highlights that pays tribute to his amazing seventh no-hitter. Here's a nice Pinnacle showing his uh, delivery kind of broken down. And then here we have some oddball Red Sox. So this is the Joe DiMaggio's little bro, Dom, who does not get as much hobby recognition as he deserves. I will certainly agree with that statement. Uh, he, There's nothing on the back of these, so I'm not entirely sure if these are like TCMA or Renata Galasso or something similar to that, but some uh, greats of franchise past here. Johnny Pesky, Emerson Dickman. Uh, this is really cool. I'm just off the top of my head. I'm going to guess that this is my first ever card of him for my team collection. Tony Lupian. I think same deal there. This is pretty neat. I'm getting some uh, coverage here that I don't really have in my team collection. Roy Partee, I believe, is the same. I don't think I've ever seen anything of him in my collection. Stan Spence. Jim Bagby. This is, uh, it looks like 1979 Diamond Greats is the set here, but I really don't know anything about these. They're fantastic, though. George Metkovich. Charlie Wagner. I do have a nice Wagner card I'll show off at some point. Eddie Pellegrini. Mel Parnell. Certainly have uh, heard of him and have plenty of his cards in my collection. Matt Batts, fantastic baseball name. Charlie Maxwell. Willard Nixon. Rico Petroselli, nice smile there. And Sammy White closes out this portion. So a nice hefty stack. I don't know what these are. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on the 1979 Diamond Greats. Maybe see if this constitutes a complete team set or if I'm missing anything, so it certainly... Uh, figure out what else I have to track down. And then this section of the package is bookended with another fantastic Monty Python card. And now for something completely different. Uh, I could certainly see myself reusing this card on the channel in the future. Really cool. Um, this is an, again, I think a sort of a promo card for the release. And I don't know if the release was actually created or not, but i um, really happy that Joe thought to send those two Monty Pythons my way. Uh, let me free the other team set bag here and we'll take a look at what is inside. Props, props to Joe for using the proper blue painter's tape here on this package. And in fact, using a recycled set of painter's tape if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Thanks for your patience. And let's see what we have in the other team set bag here. So starting off, we have an Adam Mills, first Bowman. I believe uh, his father was a bench coach for a few years. Wade Boggs from a early heritage set, I'm going to say. And nice, another Nolan Ryan. So uh, certainly upping the Nolan Ryan count here with this uh, nice package from Joe. Really appreciate these. Here's a 93 Stadium Club. Don't have this one. And interestingly enough, I've, I've actually been looking at the and considering picking up the first day issue parallel of this card. So I'm glad to have the base. Here's a nice Don Russ of uh, Nolan and his PJs. This one from Topps Lineage. Uh, I mean no disrespect to Joe when I say this, but this was one of the most disappointing sets that's been released by Topps in the last you know 10 or 15 years. I was an active collector in 2012 when this came out. I remember my excitement at the prospect of a lineage set that you know paid tribute to designs of Topps past and was, uh, along with many collectors, sort of bummed out when I saw what the end result looked like here, particularly because of these uninspired card backs. Uh, this is like very Panini-like and lazy to me from top. So uh, again, I don't mean to paint the wrong picture there. I do appreciate this and I will certainly 
gladly add it to my budding Nolan Ryan collection, but just a little commentary on the, the lineage set. Uh, here's some of these. I think these may be like TCMA greats, decade greats or something like that. Um, see if there's anything on the back here. Yeah, TCMA 1978. You got Tony Canigliaro. Here's Chuck Schilling. We've got Frank Malzone next. And fourth and final one of, he, of these, we have uh, Dick Raditz. These are cool. So I've gotten a lot of TCMA from Joe over time. I think he's practically completed my Red Sox team sets for uh, some of their 70s releases. So uh, confident that I don't have these four, though. So that's awesome. Here's a nice uh, line drive AAA Mo Vaughn pre-rookie card. I uh, really like this one because... It is the Pawtucket Red Sox. So I'm a Rhode Island resident and live about 15 or 20 minutes from the McCoy Stadium where the Paw Sox played. Uh, sadly, they are moving to Worcester uh, and will become the uh, uh, AAA franchise up there in Worcester. And Rhode Island is losing that team, but a uh, really cool card there. Love these action-packed embossed cards. Uh, this is a really underrated uh, set that shows you know a lot of the greats of the years past. And uh, as is typical with Action Pack, it's a little bit tough to tell here, but these are actually embossed cards and uh, certainly did not have this Tiant. Really cool. This is one of my favorite cards of the package, I would have to say. Uh, next up, we have a Jeff Bagwell Pro Cards. So that's awesome. I think it's pretty well known that Bagwell, sadly, was property of the Red Sox initially before they kind of foolishly dealt him away, and he went on to have a Hall of Fame career. So pretty cool to have a new Britain Red Sox card of him, especially since I grew up in Connecticut. So that one has some extra meaning to me. Here's some more of the, uh, these are the TCMA cards that I do recognize here. Um, great photographs in, in this TCMA release. And so we have four Red Sox, and then a card that I remember commenting on, on, on Joe's blog before, and it looks like he was kind enough to send me a copy so this is uh, Woody Fryman, and what I love about this is it has a fantastic shot on the front of the bullpen cart, the Montreal Expos bullpen cart with the headlight there, front and center, just very, very different than almost any other baseball card I've ever seen. And I remember uh, discussing this particular card with Joe, and he was kind enough to actually send me a copy. So I uh, really love this one. Thank you very much. And then we have a couple more oddballs here. We got a post serial card of the Rocket. A nice Opeachy premiere, Nolan Ryan. And I like that they added the pitched seventh career no hitter designation up here. Just kind of adds a nice element to that card. And wow, it is uh, not every day that you get a card of the top soccer player in the world uh, sent to you totally out of the blue. So this is a nice match attacks, I believe. Uh, featuring uh, Kylian Mbappe, and I collect him uh, somewhat heavily. I, I really uh, enjoy his play, and I was sort of early on the Mbappe train uh, around the time of the 2018 World Cup, so I used to have an amazing collection of him. Uh, I've sold some of it off because prices were just at a point where I wanted to take that money and put it into vintage baseball instead, um, but I have uh, still a pretty decent collection of his and will certainly be showing some more of uh, Mbappe's cards on the channel and absolutely did not have this one. So really pleased to have uh, received this, this match attacks. And then we have two of uh, last year's Topps cards. I think these are update series, looks like. Mookie Betts All-Star and a Time to Party, which is um, pretty nice. These combo cards can be a little bit gimmicky nowadays, but uh, I like this one because it features my two favorite players on the current team. Uh, Xander Bogarts has been my favorite since he broke into the league late in 2013. And then uh, Devers has become my second favorite player on the team after the departure of Mookie Betts. So that's kind of a cool combo card. And then there were two cards included here that were in their own individual top loaders. And so we'll take a look at those before we close this out. We have Virgil van Dyke on a nice shiny foil match attacks. There we go. Catch a little bit of that light. Love this one because I am a Liverpool fan. They are my team in the Premier League, and I've followed them for about a decade now pretty closely. 
And I think Van Dyke is one of the more underrated players in soccer collecting, just because people don't get that excited about defensemen, I think. Uh, but he is definitely a premier uh, fullback in in soccer and certainly one of the more talented players on the Liverpool club. So awesome to get this gold foil parallel of his card. That's That's fantastic. And then the last card is one that Joe had shown off on his blog and indicated at the time that he was going to send my way. And I'm incredibly happy and grateful to receive this one. And I'm just pulling some of the tape off it here so we can get a better look. But this is another Mbappe. It's a match attacks, but this is some kind of like crystal or like atomic type parallel. So this is awesome. I'm going to free this uh, from its case here so we can kind of get a better look at the awesome shininess that we are dealing with. And here it is. So how is that for a nice Mbappe card? His stuff has gotten off the charts in terms of expense, at least his main issue uh, cards. And so uh, there will not be many times, I don't think, where I just receive uh, two Mbappe cards out of the blue completely unexpectedly, and especially one looking as amazingly shiny as this one does. So uh, those will go right into the Soccer Z folio along with the Van Dyke, and the rest of these Red Sox cards will be processed for my team collection. So um, awesome care package there. Really, really appreciate it, Joe. You're, you're a fantastic hobby friend, and as you know, I will certainly be hitting you back uh, with some stuff uh, that's heading back in your direction soon. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much. And thank you to everybody else who stuck with me here. I know this was kind of a lengthy video, but there was quite a bit to cover. So um, take care and I will be back soon with some more sports card content.